Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into Nepal. A land of towering peaks and deep valleys, spirituality, and of course, momos. Those delectable dumplings that you'll want to devour by the dozens. But here's the kicker. We're doing it with a gay lens. Yep, let's break down what it's like to wander the streets of Kathmandu, climb the terrains of the Himalayas, and explore the local LGBTQ scene. First off, let's talk safety because, let's be real, no one wants to be stuck in a foreign country dealing with bigotry. Nepal, you'll be pleased to hear, is actually one of the more progressive countries in South Asia when it comes to LGBTQ rights. They decriminalized homosexuality back in 2007 and even recognize a third gender. But remember, legislation and public sentiment are two different things. While the city vibes might be more relaxed, going deep into the rural areas might warrant a few raised eyebrows. So, rule number one, always gauge the room. If you're getting bad vibes, time to exit stage left. Now, on to Kathmandu. Think of it as this bustling, chaotic hub. That's the perfect blend of tradition and modernity. Temples and ancient structures on one end. Nightclubs and LGBTQ plus bars on the other. Ever been to a gay bar with a temple in the background? Check that off your bucket list. And if you're itching to break out those Grindr and Tinder apps, be my guest. But remember, catfishing is a global phenomenon. Alright, so let's talk hiking, because you can't talk Nepal without talking mountains. If you're planning on conquering Everest or Annapurna, L. Let's get one thing straight, pun intended, you're going to need some seriously good hiking gear. And no, those, versatile, leather boots you bought because they look great at the club. And on the trail aren't gonna cut it. Splurge on quality, or else those blisters will become your newest travel companions, and they're super clingy. Now, cultural nuances. While Nepal may be cool with LGBTQ plus rights on paper, PDA is generally a no-go, especially if you're way out in the rural regions. Even straight couples keep it on the down low. So, as much as you'd love to hold hands while taking a selfie with Everest in the background, maybe save the romance for the lodge. Oh, and speaking of lodges. Accommodations range from budget to, oh my god, am I financing the next Marvel movie? The key is to ask the right questions. Make sure to subtly inquire if they're LGBTQ plus friendly. Most places in the city won't blink an eye. But again, the further you go into those scenic but isolated terrains, the more, shall we say, traditional, viewpoints you might encounter. Let's not forget the food. We all love a good momo, but Nepal offers so much more. Dalbat, anyone? It's like the comfort food you never knew you needed. Just avoid drinking tap water unless you want to experience another form of local culture, the healthcare system. No tea, no shade, but better safe than sorry. Alright, time to get a bit more serious. Despite its forward-leaning stance on LGBTQ plus issues, Nepal is still a developing country grappling with poverty and lack of resources. That cool, authentic souvenir you're buying? Make sure it's from a local shop and not some big corporation milking the tourist trade. It's a small way to give back to a community that's giving you a unique, once-in-a-lifetime experience. So there you have it, folks. A roller coaster tour of Nepal with enough spice to tickle your curiosity, and hopefully, not your digestive system. If you're an LGBTQ plus traveler, Nepal offers a landscape as diverse as its people. Just pack your bags with caution, sensibility, and an extra pair of hiking boots, and you're good to go. Alright, we're winding down, and you've just listened to a lowdown that's as breathtaking as the Nepali mountains, or so one would hope. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Asian Pride for more brutally honest, borderline controversial, but always enlightening content. Until next time, keep those passports ready and those minds open. Catch you later.